Gentlemen, today's video falls under the category of six brands that will never sponsor an Alpha M video. <laughs> Oh well. Because today I'm going over six brands that are, in my opinion, a total ripoff. In my opinion. So before I piss off not only the brands and you because you love these brands, I need to issue a little disclaimer. You know, these brands are probably amazing and I know that there are a lot of fans out there that are going to totally get pissed off when I sort of trash them. And it's not that I don't like the brand, I just feel like the quality they are delivering for the price they're charging is ridiculous. And so I'm going to go over the six brands. I'm also going to give you six less expensive alternatives that I personally think are awesome. Number one, Polo. I don't know what it is about this little horse that has people paying Eighty-five dollars. Eighty-five bucks for a cotton black polo, in my opinion, is absolutely astronomically ridiculous. What am I not understanding? What am I not getting about polo that they can charge so much for all of their clothes? Literally, it's gap quality. Why pay eighty-five bucks when you could pay twelve for this? An H&M polo. Literally, like twelve bucks. You can get a slim fit stretch polo that isn't the same quality, no, but it's $12 versus $85, number two. Xenia, more specifically, their suits. Look at this nonsense. A navy suit, peak lapels, $3,000. It doesn't even have functioning buttonholes? Really? $3,000 for $400, I could get this. Suit supply, seriously, like, like, come on, em come, Xenia, I'm looking at you. You're ridiculous, you're overpriced, these even have functioning buttonholes for under 500 bucks, and you, three grand, get real. Rip off, in my opinion. Also, a rip off, in my opinion, <laughs> and this is gonna piss all the watch people off, is Patek Philippe. You want to talk about not getting it in terms of how much they charge for what you're getting. Like, I get it, right? It's got a moon calendar and it's a 24, like, and it's handcrafted. I don't care if the gears are made out of unicorn horn. But don't get me wrong. I can spend some money on some watches, but every time I see the price tag of Patek Philippe and, like, used ones being, like, 50 grand, what? I'm a watch slut. I love watches. I love high-end watches. I love Patex. I would never buy one because I think they're a ripoff. But I would like to look like I'm wearing one, and I can with today's video sponsor, Vincero. Seriously, it's crazy. Check it out. If it's got a blue band, blue face, it's cool, right? And here is a Vincero. Exactly. Like it is so, like it's it's ridiculous. I love Vincero watches. It's affordable luxury. You get to look like you're wearing the super badass expensive watch, but these things aren't going to break the bank. They've got some beautiful designs and they recently came out with some more. This is a super sexy watch. The case is like a matte black the band it's sort of like a matte metal mesh i just fell in love with this but it also comes in gold look at this right yellow gold black face yellow gold markers when i saw this i automatically thought presidential right the rolex presidential yellow gold black face is one of my all-time favorite watches the problem is that it's like 60 grand what you're going to notice immediately about vincero watches aside from the fact that they're beautiful is that the quality is ridiculous the craftsmanship the cases the leather straps, the metal, it's all just super high quality. And for the price, you really can't beat it. Guys, there's a link down below to my curated collection of Vincero watches. I've gone through and actually selected watches that I think are particularly stylish, sexy, and cool. There's also a discount code. Make sure to enter it to get an even better deal on an already amazingly priced product. In my opinion, Number four, Hermes, Hermes, Hermes. I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm not that smart, but if you're paying $1,300 for a belt, you're not that smart. And shame on it, 13, seriously, like what is it made out? What do I get for $1,300 other than the ability to have other people be like, yo, idiot, you really paid 1,300 bucks for a belt? Like instead, me, I'm going Anson. It kind of looks like, like an H, like three pack, 100 bucks. 1,300 bucks for but get the f out of here. Number five is Armani Exchange. $110 for that ugly sweatshirt? Shorts? 110? What? I know what you're thinking. You're like, yo, that seems like an amazing deal considering you just saw $1,300 freaking belts. 
Uh, here's my problem with Armani Exchange. It's ugly, it's expensive, and for what you're getting, I'd go to the Gap. But Gap t-shirts aren't gonna say AX on- That's, that's, that's kind of the point. They're charging you an arm and a leg, ripping you off for an A and an X. In my opinion. My other opinion is that number six, John Barbados, is so crazy expensive. Now, it's true. I kind of like his stuff. It's kind of for, like, the guy who makes a lot of money and wants to look and feel like a bad boy and rock star. That's John. 300 bucks for a denim jacket? That's John. And this, this is Jay. Crew outlet. Like, 30 bucks. Hold, wait, hold on. Wait, maybe I'm wrong. There's a sale. Normally, that sexy leather jacket's two grand, but today it's only sixteen hundred. This is All Saints. Also super sexy. Got it on sale for like three hundred bucks. Like seriously, John? Seriously. And that's it, gentlemen. My list of six brands that are ripping you off. They only rip you off if you buy it. I'm not saying not to, I'm just saying there are less expensive, more amazing options out there. Down in the comments, I want to know what's a brand that's ripping us off so that I can do another video. Guys, you're beautiful, you're amazing, and you look like a million bucks.